All right, now guys, um, what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble this. And uh, eventually, this here is going to be cut. Let me find something here to point with. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start right here. And we're going to cut all that out. Probably clear down to about down here. And we're just going to file all that out. So that these here go further that way. And we'll see how that works. Uh, I'm just hoping I can match this. I can't, I think I used only, um, uh, boiled linseed oil, but it seems a little dark, so, uh, I might have had some real light stain mixed up with some walnut, uh, and if that's the case, I may have a problem <laughs> matching that up, but we got a knot right there, and that's going to be a pain in the butt to, um, to do. And we're probably going to have to use the file. So the first thing we got to do is take this off of the gun vise. And we're just going to take these out. guys we decided to do it this way um, it was hard to file so what I've done is I've kind of lined it up on the back side of that to work straight and lifted this side a half inch and clamped it down with a uh, hold down clamp and it, it's pretty tight and um, we're gonna try to do this on the mill uh, I went ahead and took it apart. Uh, the glue wasn't on there all that great, so um, I wanted to put screws in it anyway. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to mill it. So here, give me, I need a chance to uh, get it all set up here. I haven't got it set up yet.
edges off, sand this a little bit, and I think I'm going to countersink the other part too, uh, depending on if I got enough room, I should have. So we'll meet you at the other bench. Alright guys, we've got it all back assembled. Uh, I was going to um, <clears throat> show the process of me putting these uh, inserts in, but basically you just took a, I just took a milling bit and milled that hole so that the uh, uh, insert would countersink and be kind of flush to the front of that. It doesn't have to be completely flush because this is going to hit before that does on the wood. And then I just put a little bit of felt on the back side of it right here to kind of cushion the blow. So now these here are past this point right over here. So now we've got plenty of room around the gun and I'll show you here. She sits in there pretty now. And I had thought about taking and raising this so that the gun would set in there level. And I'm even thinking about making an adjustable one so that I can adjust at whatever height I want for any gun. You know, and have it mounted on this side so that it goes up and down. It matches this and the whole size of this or just maybe even come halfway here and kind of chamfer this edge and have a, a bolt in here with a wing nut like that on it and have a slot cut in it so that it can raise up and down and then you tighten the two set screws or two turn uh, knobs and put a little bit of this in there I still got some of this left uh, put a little bit of this into the next cradle and have them the same size and then bring You can bring it up anytime you want and if you want it down here where it's level with this it just gives it added support so Then we've got Back here you can see that it's just touching right here and right there. I sure would like to have gotten rid of that little gap right there so that it's set on the bottom. That way it would set on the pin. Maybe I can bring it back a little bit. No, because then it's hitting the... Uh, Yeah, you have to always have it there because of the cheek piece. So now you can see there's a gap between it. Let me find something here to show. So you got a gap in between it. And then you got a gap on this side. So she'll sit there just, just as pretty as you please. And I can probably just take and build this up with a uh, felt or something, which is what I put here. I put some felt on there. I found some in a trailer here that was cleaned out. And um, it had adhesive on the back side of it. You just pulled the paper off of it and it stuck. Now, it's not going to stick as good as it should. But, you know, this thing doesn't get thrown around. It's just sitting there. Unless the tape just gives and it starts rolling over, then I'll worry about that when it comes to that time. But <clears throat> that's the improvements. So basically, I just uh, routed those out with the mill, which you've seen. Now they set in there a little bit deeper. And this, this is a nice gun vise. And then if you want to tighten it up, you just tighten that up against it. 
like that until you see it move. And then you tighten the other side up. And there you have a gun that's in the vise. So now you can just loosen it up. All the way. And then we went and stained all around the edge of the um, vinyl and this wood was bare I hadn't stained it yet so we stained that a little bit and it doesn't match but I'm not trying to get perfect here uh, gives it that old uh, old manufacturing style Bison built suppressor, barrel brake. Honeycomb filter. Sunshade, three inch. Another mount for red dot, whatever, flashlight. The new bison made handle, bolt handle, 10 shot breech. Adjustable objective. And bison carved gun stock. You guys have a good one. Later.